I'm a huge fan of J.R.R. Tolkien, and frankly, I will read anything that they put his name on. And you can tell HarperCollins Publishers I said that. The most recent book that I have read with Tolkien's name on it is this, The Battle of Meldon. And if you're trying to figure out the Battle of Meldon, I don't remember that in Lord of the Rings. Maybe that was in The Hobbit. Where, where did that battle happen? Well, actually, this is a historical battle that took place in the 10th century when the Vikings attacked an Anglo-Saxon uh, force and uh, defeated them. And of course, Tolkien, his career was not as a fantasy writer as much as we might love him for that area of his life, but rather he, uh, he taught English literature. And there was a poem that was written in Anglo-Saxon uh, just after that battle called the, uh, the Battle of Meldon. And uh, Tolkien translates that. And uh, in this book, there are all kinds of notes and um, discussions uh, about uh, how this poem was put together, um, the, uh, the versification, and so on. Uh, it also includes uh, something else uh, connected to that, uh, the homecoming of Bior Tanoth. And I am sure that I mispronounced that because my Anglo-Saxon is a little bit rusty. And by a little bit rusty, I mean non-existent. And this is a, um, a little story that Tolkien wrote uh, about some events happening right after the Battle of Maldon. And basically, it's uh, two people going into the battlefield uh, afterwards and looking to bring the, uh, the body back of uh, Beortanov, uh, who is the Anglo-Saxon leader. And so uh, you really are getting uh, a sense of, uh, of who Tolkien is and what he was interested in when you get into this book. Now, if you're the Tolkien fan who's just looking for an uh, extra bit of trivia about Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, it's probably not the book for you. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. I, uh, I like history. I like Anglo-Saxon history. I like all English history. And, uh, and also, the world in which Tolkien is in, in this book, really helped to shape uh, how he developed Middle Earth, because a lot of those traditions definitely shaped uh, what he was trying to say in Lord of the Rings and, and The Hobbit and so on. So uh, I recommend this book. If you are a diehard Tolkien fan like myself, get it. It's not hugely expensive and it's, uh, it's, worth, it's worth reading and uh, I think that you'll enjoy it. Um, but if you're only into Middle Earth, maybe you wanna pass on for the next, uh, the next book that comes down. I'm gonna leave a link for this book. It's an Amazon affiliate link. And I'm going to put that in the show notes for this video. Thank you very much. God bless.